So she came by today. Who? Oh, her. How was it? There aren't words to describe the misery she must be in. Why do you say the misery she must be in? Because no one can inflict so much misery on a sweet and otherwise happy girl like me unless she were drowning in it herself. So, what happened this time? She spent a half an hour with me going back and forth over what she believed was an error in her account. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, especially if there was an error in her account, was there? It doesn't sound too bad. Do you recall who we're dealing with here? And no, there wasn't an error in the account. If there had been, the conversation would have lasted twice as long, I'm sure. And my ears would have probably fallen off. No, I take that back. They would have burst in the flame before running off my head in protest. Well, sorry. Sounds like it was pretty difficult. Difficult? Doesn't quite capture it. And worse yet, that's 30 minutes of my life that I won't get back. Well, did, did she at least apologize for wasting your time? Velma? Apologize? No. In fact, I think I ended up apologizing to her for making our statements so hard to understand. Now, why in the world would you do that? Our statements aren't difficult to understand. They're just pluses for credits to account. Why do you think? To get her out of my office. Ah, good point. Yes. Maybe when she was a child? Or a baby, perhaps? No. She was definitely a fussy baby. You know what the irony is? What's that? She says she's a Christian. And I think she wants me to become one, too. She's always bringing in some Christian pamphlet about how to be saved or tell me that I need Jesus. But you know, I always think, if you've got Jesus, and he's made you like that, you can keep him. Well, I don't think Jesus is like her, though. Do you? I certainly hope not. She sure isn't representing him very well. But you know, if I were Jesus, I think I'd come back just to tell all of my so-called followers that they can stick a sock in it and they aren't going to treat people better. They're ruining my reputation. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Wouldn't it be nice if it did, though? She hasn't exactly treated you well, either, if you recall. Do you remember that time she followed you into the men's room just to tell you that she had not overdrawn her account? I think the whole bank overheard every single word. Yeah, I remember. That's when we started calling her Hurricane Velma, because she was so full of hot air, and she nearly blew me away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Quite the fitting title for her, actually. I hope that when I'm her age, I'm not so joyless and bitter. I sure don't want to make everyone around me miserable. You? Little Miss Sunshine? Huh, I can't see that happening. Maybe. But I think it's easier than you think. It's just constantly, little by little, focusing on the negatives and always being critical. Hmm. Do, don't you think we're doing that right now? <laughs> oh, good point. I hadn't thought about it like that. Maybe we should stop before we start the downward spiral. Yeah, but I hate to spiral into a Hurricane John. One Hurricane Velma is enough for me. One Hurricane Velma is enough for anyone. <laughs>